This is breaking news. Nobody's perfect in this. Nobody's perfect in this. Nobody's perfect in this. Nobody's perfect. But that gives me reason to stand for what I believe in. My name is Marlon Walker. I'm 22 years old, currently a student at UC Irvine, studying psychology and social behavior and art as a double major. Um, I developed a skin disease at the age of 13. I was misdiagnosed by a doctor, which prescribed me medicine that simply burned off my skin. Uh, later figured out that I had a skin disease called vitiligo. And um, in that moment, I was really mad at the world. I was mad at my current circumstances, you know, just, just really pissed off, questioning like, why me of all people? I dealt with a lot of depression, I've dealt with anxiety, I've dealt with insecurities within myself, and you know, coming to UC Irvine really changed the way I viewed life because I met so many people that positively influenced me, made me feel comfortable in my own skin. So I wanted to do that for other people that I don't know because I never want anyone to feel how low that I felt. And I came up with the idea for uh, this brand called Nobody's Perfect. Nobody's Perfect is something that I started in 2015. It was originally me and my childhood friend named Matthew Cruz. Uh, funny story with that, we met over Xbox Live in like eighth grade, playing like Halo and Call of Duty. Um, one night, all of our friends went to sleep and we're in the Xbox Live chat. And he's like, yo, like, what do you, what do you like really, what do you want to do um, when you get to college? Like, what is, what is your plan? I know you don't want to do a nine to five. Um, and I was like, yo, I kind of have this idea for this, this clothing company and, and movement called Nobody's Perfect, you know? And he's one of the first people that I even told I, I wore makeup to. And he like accepted me, didn't judge me for anything. And he's like, yeah, like I want, always like, wanted to do clothes. I love clothes too. I love like the message you put out. I like sketched up some drawings in the sketchbook, sent him some pictures. And he's like, from there is where it really started. And it really came into fruition once I got to college. I started selling these long sleeves and those sell out, sold out in like a week. And in that moment I was like, wow, I really kind of have something here. Like people really resonated with it. and. That's such an uplifting feeling because I feel like as being an artist nowadays, um, people are self-conscious or you want to be accepted. But if you really put your all into something and people can sense that it's genuine, people are going to mess with it regardless. Uh, the team right now consists, it's a very close-knit close -knit team. It consists of me, uh, Matthew Cruz, and my other friend, uh, Tony Boyd. Um, in terms of the, the designs, um, I basically have made all of them on Illustrator and Photoshop. Uh, I've taught myself over the years through YouTube or on Google. Um, I've recently just picked up the double major in art, so through that I've learned a lot of information that I wouldn't have learned from um, you know, accredited professors that know what they're doing. So getting all the information and putting it together with stuff I already knew just really gives me a different outlook because there's always something, there's always a different way to do something, especially in those creative programs and anything in Adobe Suite. Um, and in terms of other team members I have, like such, I'm so grateful for such a great group of friends that are all like multifaceted can do so many different things and they're always willing to help so you know when this brand keeps blowing up i'm gonna make sure to take the entire team up with me nobody's perfect it's probably the realest thing that anybody can tell you it's it's literally a universal truth and i want to you know encapsulate that in the the clothing pieces i put out any public events that we do any music events we do like literally anything that spreads a positive message you know Everyone has their own, their own experiences, their own unique pitfalls, their own features that make them who they are. You know, we all come from different backgrounds. We're all different people. And contrary to whatever beliefs you have religiously, we have this one moment, this one experience in this body right here, and there's nothing you can really do about it. So you have to really focus on the stuff that you have control over and not worry about the stuff you don't and just embrace life. You know, we're all, we're all people at the end of the day. And that's what I want to get across to people. People are nowadays are so, so caught up in like comparing their lives to other people or saying, oh, I wish I looked like that. I wish I wasn't this fat. I wish I had a better nose. You know, I wish I was richer. And then in that sense, there's always someone that's doing worse than you in the world. And like, I, that's why I love my friends because we all notice that, you know, if you're watching this video right now, you're more privileged than probably 9% of the world. So I just want to really it might sound crazy to some people, but I really want Nobody's Perfect to change the world, and that's what I'm going to do. But, like, honestly, just don't take my word for it. You can go see what these people say about it. Nobody's Perfect.
One word that describes this brand is positivity. What this brand means to me is that it is a community spreading a positive message and mindset that we can all benefit from. A word that describes nobody's perfect is comforting. And I mean that in the sense that it's comforting to know other people relate to the message it sends and that you can't always be the best version of yourself. And it's perfectly okay to embrace your flaws because at the end of the day, it's what makes you human. One word that would describe nobody's perfect would be inspiring. Uh, what the brand means to me is that you can truly be authentic and be yourself and have um, nobody judge you and be comfortable in your skin. Um, nobody's, nobody's perfect, perfect and that's perfectly fine. fine. How can people support this movement? You can support this movement by, you know, following the page, you know, spreading it to a loved one, someone you care about, you know, spreading it to your family members. Um, I'm currently working on the website. I plan to drop that early next year once I get it to where I want it to be. You know, I want to just keep positively progressing. And, you know, if you don't, if you don't want to go to the website, you could come out to any pop-up shops we have in the future. We plan on selling at the, you know, some flea markets like in OC, potentially in LA. Um, yeah, just try to stay in the loop, you know, follow the Instagram account, follow my personal account, follow, you know, Maddie Kicks, uh, Matthew Crew's account, Tony Boyd, because we're all going to post it. You'll, you'll for sure hear about it one way or another. Closing remarks. Yeah, nobody's perfect is something that really means a lot to me. Uh, more so than just a clothing brand, more so than a movement, it's... It's a universal truth that people need to realize. No one in the past was ever perfect. No one in the future will ever be perfect. You know, we're all, we're all human. Uh, be grateful for what you have now. You know, life isn't all about wins. We have to experience some type of pain or like then what would, what would life be, you know? Like you get to learn from these things to improve over time. Yeah, I think there's just like this line that says like stagnation is death. And I really believe in that because if you're not progressing as a human, if you're not being more comfortable with yourself every freaking day, if you're just like hella sad all the time, you know, then what good will come from that? You know, there's so much so fucking hate in the world. There's so much racism, sexism, like xenophobia, you know, body dysmorphia people care about, you know, these like unrealistic expectations of what a human being should be. And I totally want to shatter that shit. Nobody's perfect and it's perfectly fine.